I got some new cards to take a read out here. And I'm, uh, haven't checked them out yet. And before you laugh at me for mistaking this for Ruin, I thought Allure Queen and Ruin was the same thing. My apologies. All right, let's have a read at them. Uh, we have Allure Queen supports specifically. And there's a lot of cards here. Bro out here writing an essay. All right, okay, let's have a look. Um, I can't even remember how the Allure Queens work, but they, ha they have level monsters. Um, and I think that they're actually, uh, like, they, that's how they work. I should probably read the original first. Allure Queen Yu-Gi-Oh. Isn't it just like a vanilla? Allure Queen. Whoa, main deck. Level three. Yeah, like that. This is how they work, right? Um. Okay, something like that. That that maybe gives us some kind of content. Let's get into this. Uh, which is there like? There's no new main deck cards. I guess we'll just start with the fusion. Uh, the Duke of Demise, two fiend and or zombie monsters. Super polymerization. Super polymer. Super polymerization. Super polymerization. It's funny every single time that a fusion card is uh, revealed or shown. The instant thought is like, okay, how can we abuse super polymerization with this? Well, if you're playing a fiend deck, apparently we can super polar your whole board away. So uh, unchained players, I guess, can lose unchained soul of rage plus like some other guy. Maybe Mascarena? No, she's Cybers. Um, I don't know why I thought she was a fiend. Um, yeah, you can just get rid of like things like that. So uh, epic. Anyway, let's actually see what it does for the archetype. Uh, and zombies as well. So that, that exists. Once per turn during your standby, pay 500 to destroy this. Can be destroyed by battle. How it's a ass card. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. During your main, immediately after this resolves, uh, normal summon. That's a crazy super poly target. I'm sorry for fixating on this, but like wiping your opponent's like um, uh, 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 fusion, uh, uh, field, uh, pff, fiend field, and then just getting an extra normal summon is wild. Uh, this isn't part of the allure stuff. Okay, sure. New cards in general. Uh, banish this from your grave. Target level 4 or higher fiend or zombie in your grave and add it to your hand. Ah, you can do cool stuff like discard like a, a high level fiend and then banish this and then add it back or something. Uh, Ubel gets wrecked. I assume Ubel probably ends on a bunch of uh, fiends, I suppose, right? Um, yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to be good in other than me activate super polymerization. <laughs> All right, let's read the new Allure Queen. This is definitely an Allure Queen because it says Allure Queen. It requires three spell casters. I like that we're giving cards some kind of restriction. Even if it's like not a crazy amount of restriction, at least it's some kind of restriction. Uh, so not just making everything just generic. Like, for example, Princess, you know. Uh, why the hell does that card not have a fire requirement or something, you know? Anyway, um, if this card is Link Summoned... Wait, I just realized, by the way, it's three exactly spell casters. So this is... You know, whenever the, uh, a, a Link monster or something has this many, like, actual requirements, it better be freaking good, because combining three monsters to make a Link 3 is not usually how you make Link 3s, weirdly enough. So, um, it doesn't feel very, what's the word, um, efficient. If this is Link Summon Special and Allure Queen from your deck or grave, any Allure Queen? And if you do this, gains 1500 until the end of the next turn. 4000 beat stick. You can activate the effects that equip a monster to themselves of monsters with a Lure Queen in the original name as quick effects. Once per turn, when you put on activates a card or effect, destroy a card in the field. Also, Lure Queen you control cannot be destroyed by card effects for the rest of the turn. Um, I mean, so this is like broken, right? Like this is really fucking insane for the deck. Now, the problem is that it's still Allure Queen, and the deck still sucks, and These having broken so cards in a gross. shit deck is still a Happy shit deck. Mother's Day. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we'll see if the support cards actually help you uh, get to that win condition. This is obviously one of the most broken parts, uh, broken parts of uh, legacy support, which is a bit of a habit that they do sometimes, which is let's make the old cards better by errataing them without errataing them. So, like, the effects with Allure Queen in the name can now be quick effect. Like, you're just errataing this. Like, you're making the card, the old school cards better by making this give other extra effects. Now, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I think that's what, if you are going to absolutely specifically require that we use old cards, this is probably a good way to make old cards relevant. Uh, plus, just like a quick effect popped is decent. You know, thankfully it wasn't quick effect, negate. 
Um, but th this is a shit hot card, but it's still a shit deck. Unless. Equip only to a level 5 or higher fiend or zombie. When an attack is. This is a different archetype, right? We got, this is like kind of mixed between a bunch of different decks. Um, anyway, let's read this regardless. Equip only to a level 5 or higher fiend or zombie. When an attack is declared involving the equip monster and opponent's monster, you can make that opponent's monster's attack equal to the equip monsters. You can activate one of the effects. So, honest plus. Fusion summon a fusion for an using monsters from your hand or field as material. Special summon a doppelbanger token with the same type attribute and attack as the equipped monster. Um, okay. You can make that opponent's... Then you can activate one of the... So, is this like a new sentence or is it on attack? It's a new effect, right? So, you just like equip, activate this, and then fusion. So, it's an equip polymerization, basically like Nefshadol fusion. But it also has a bonus effect of being able to special summon another copy of the thing. I mean, this feels like it has some sort of, like, combo capabilities. In that it just summons another copy of a token of a thing that you currently control. One of the fiends or zombies that you currently control. I mean, there may potentially be a way to, um... This card does the mitosis. I don't know anything about biology. What does mitosis mean? I I'm probably saying it wrong, aren't I? <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that this is garbage. It's an emote. Not loading. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. This isn't really blowing my dick off. Um, it feels like this is kind of shit. All right, let's see what the allure cards do. Allure Palace. Field spell. Let me guess. Field spell that activates to add a monster of the allure archetype. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Inbuilt protection effect. Let me guess. Let me guess. Spell cast as you control, gain 5 attack and defense. You can send a card from your hand to the grave and take an allure queen from your deck and add it to your hand or special summon it to your opponent's field. Weird! You guys are saying no, it literally does it. In fact, it's better. It doesn't just search. It special summons. So, yes, this is... Yeah. Uh, you can also use effect well, uh, up to... Huh? Th huh? <laughs> you can only use this thrice per turn. Huh? <laughs> this is King Sarcophagus on crack. You can send this card equipped with a card. You can... What? You can send this card equipped with a card. How do you equip a card to a field spell? Oh, no. Oh, right. The allure monsters gain this effect. Right. <laughs> Yo, Master Rule 6 just dropped. <laughs> allure Queen effect monster control gain this effect. Send this card equipped with a card by its own effect. to the Special spell cards with 15 or less attack from your hand or deck. Okay, this field spell is freaking broken. <laughs> like, this is, like, ridiculously insane. Um, again, I don't know. I'm still hesitant because it's a Lure Queen, but this is a fucking crazy card. What the hell? Thrice per turn, e telly front. This has to be good, dude. This has to be good. You know what the problem is? It's always the same issue with any, like, legacy support and stuff like that. Usually they'll have, like, some one really crazy broken card. And if that one crazy broken card gets stopped, then the deck is, like, really bad, right? Like, for example, why is Branded, for example always memed on and laughed at as basically being like it's never been like the best best deck because it so centralizes and relies on like a very specific part of the um uh part of the um uh the effect here to your opponent's side of the field yeah but like i assume that does something for your deck right i'm, I'm just i'm assuming a lot here to be fair <laughs> i am assuming a lot here but i i, I feel like this is probably good because that's the whole point. That's the gimmick of the deck. So I'm assuming getting three of your guys out of your deck is probably good. I mean, I haven't read the original Lure Queens in a while, but I assume... Anyway, yeah. I, I feel like that's probably, like, still relevant and still good. Uh, stealing only? Yeah, that's, that's like the whole gimmick. That's ba vaguely what I remember. Uh, Allure Dance. Continuous spell. When this card is activated, add one Allure Queen or monster or an Allure Palace. Well, there you go. Now you have seven field spells. Great. Um... Each Allure Queen you control gains that equal to the attack of the monsters equipped to it by its own effect. Send one other spell and tribe you control to the grave. Call special as many Allure Queen monsters with different names as possible from your grave. You can only use it effect once per turn. Wait, is this just a... Send one other spell and tribe you control special as many... That's just a soul charge? Is that once per turn? You can only activate one per turn? But is this effect once per turn? When this card is out, you can send one other... You can only use this. Oh, okay, right. It's weird. It's worded weirdly. Okay, it is once per turn. But this is still crazy. <laughs> wow. All right. 
What is Spirit Shield? Is this part? No, this is this is like a mix of a zombie support and Allure Queen cards here. Okay, so the verdict here is that Allure Queen is not going to be a meta deck. There's there just needs to be more like cards, I think, because you're still relying on the old cards. But this is a really cool Link monster with a cool concept of Arata in your cards. I think the first Legacy support card that did that might have been the Malefics. Um, I think. Uh, but this is a cool, like, way to support older archetypes is just by making the card, the old cards playable, but also better because of another card, right? So I, I kind of like that. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a little convoluted and complicated in some ways, but I, I do really like that. Um, but I think it's a, it's a, it's a very cool concept. Uh, this card is fucked. It's like, this card's crazy. <laughs> Uh, I just, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, maybe it'll be good, but that's just actually crazy. Uh, what does this trap do? Continuous trap, once per battle, what opponent wants to close an attack, banish a fiend or a zombie from your grave, negate, once per turn when your opponent activates card, fight that will destroy a card, you can banish a fiend or a zombie from your grave, negate, once per turn during the end phase, if you do not control a fiend or a zombie, send this to the, yeah, this is just kind of bad, it's just a trap card with some protection, like, this is not, like, a meta, like, card at all. Um... The zombie stuff feels kind of disappointing. This is a good super poly target. The allure queen stuff may be insane. All right, this is some weird support for Allure Queen in that Konami seems to be leaning into the level up mechanic instead of just retrading the originals to bypass the mechanic entirely. Well, they're not retraining the... They are retraining the originals, but using the level up thing um, is fine because... Well, it doesn't even matter because you just summon any Allure Queen, right? You don't need to do the level up stuff, though. You just summon any Allure Queen. Uh, you can't just cheat out a bunch of Allure Queen 7s. Wait, do the original ones say they cannot be special summoned or something? Um, I, I get, okay, they must have that restriction then. All right, that's fair. Um, and immediately get a bunch of quick effects to equip opponent's monster. The effects still aren't usable if you try to do that. Instead, you have to start with three and use this new field spell and the link monsters to give your opponent's monsters, which you can repeatedly equip to climb up to the higher level versions. <laughs> this seems extremely inefficient. <laughs> it seems reasonably effective at this, but having to discard a card from your hand each time you use the third field spec kind of sucks. You need some way of actually getting the link three out in the first place. Not many decks can actually make three spellcasters monsters as link fodder. Bro, just play like Performa Pals, you know, normal summon trick clown, make a link one somehow with the uh there's a link one spellcaster isn't there like the one that you invoked i think bring back trick clown special hat tricker maybe that works you know three but three spellcasters um but yeah okay well someone here is clearly a root a, a lure queen expert so shout outs to this guy um you're the goat well done uh yeah good shit uh l listen to him i'll take his advice so yeah, this doesn't seem like that good, although it seems insane in some other ways. All right, that's the new cards.